Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and we are looking at this Avengers Infinity War, Captain America, ages 4 and up. Um, this falls under the budget line of Hasbro superhero figures. Uh, when this came out, maybe about 4 years ago, it was about 9 bucks. Um... In addition to the Marvel Legends stuff at the time, they offered a dedicated line of Infinity War figs. They were affordable, fun to play with, and this is one of them. Um, I've, if you've been watching my videos, I've covered a couple of these already. I love the package design. It's awesome. Um, it's very nostalgic for me to buy an action figure on a card versus one in a box. I love the tactile feel of ripping the bubble off the card. It's takes me back to my youth beautiful character artwork of Thanos we have Captain America framed nicely in this little plastic prison he comes with an infinity gem I'm gonna call it a gem I know everyone calls it a stone but when I grew up we called them infinity gems I think they were gems in the comic books I think it was a gem in the fighting game you know when you got the gem you power up here's Chris Evans is Cap. He's running at ya. Running at ya. And other figures, we have Iron Man, Star-Lord, and Thor. Okay, let's take this guy out. Alright, first impressions while still in the plastic tray. I hate the head. Um, this is a budget figure. It's $9. You get what you pay for. Um, so you're not going to expect, like, a, you know, this figure isn't going to hit a home run. This is, it's not even going to hit a single. It's just going to, like, warm up the bench. And I don't have a problem with that because sometimes the guys on the bench are the ones that surprise you. Um... The sculpting is beautiful, but the head, the face and the paint application, the face sculpt isn't bad, but the paint application, now it's kind of overblown on, on my camera. Let me try to get the light down a little. The head looks like a knockoff. I mean, just the way it's colored. The eyes look, it's like, it's, oh, it's like this void of life, but the sculpting is nice. This is a bad paint application on the head. So yeah, this is Cap is how he looked in Avengers Infinity War. Um, but if you, if you look, the head, it's nicely sculpted. The details in the hair and the beard, but those eyes, they do not sell a, a life-like expression. He's just kind of dead. Which, real quick, I have this cup of boiling water. I'm not sure if it's still hot. It might be a little bit lukewarm right now. But I have this other cap head. I want to soften the plastic on it. Let's see if I can do a head swap real quick. Yeah, it's, a little, it's still a little hot. I don't want to pull the, the head off straight because I don't want to stretch the plastic out. I'd rather just pull it out when it's pliable and just let it let the plastic reset itself. All right, now it's soft. Okay, we'll leave this in here. Uh, will this fit? All right, this is nice and soft. The ball joint's pretty big. Will it fit this guy? No, it doesn't fit that guy. Oh, dude, just wait. <laughs> okay, this, I found a new figure. Um, I'll try this first. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's too tight. Oh, dude, it's like too tight and it's its head sits too low. <laughs> this is like this is like Cap if he's like on the football team. It's kind of like it's like Rudy. It's like Sean. Uh, what's his name? Sean Sean Aston from. <laughs> oh, looks a Rudy action figure. Um, let's take that off. Okay, I, I think I have a, a solution to this. They'll make this fi a winning figure. 
because I just realized the skin tones on these match. So this is a um, Black Widow figure from the Avengers Infinity War. And the skin tone matches. So, oh, <laughs> beautiful. Look at that. It's a new Captain America. All right, to be honest, I actually like this a lot. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's kind of like Cap's cousin who's like a, who doubles as like as an MMA fighter. And then she's tough. Um, she probably trains with like America top team. Because, you know, she's keeping with that whole Captain America theme. Um, she probably fights at, I don't know, I don't know, 125 pounds. Um, her win-loss records, she's probably like 15 wins, zero losses. Uh, she normally finishes her opponent's first round knockout. Um, occasionally she might submit someone with a guillotine or a, I don't know, arm bar. So yeah, let's review this figure instead, right? So this is, um, let's give her a name. All right, so she's related to Steve Rogers. Um, I was about to say Emily Rogers, but that sounds like someone that might exist in real life. Um, what's a name I could use? How about Marilyn? Because she's kind of like that same color hair as Marilyn Monroe. No. What's her background? Let's say she's from Poland. She's like Captain America's Polish cousin. Um... What's a good Polish name? I can't think of any Polish. I know, which is weird because there's like, like all my, all my family's like Polish. And then all my friends are like part Polish. Oh, well, nonetheless, this is say that this is Steve Rogers' cousin. Um, you know, like him, she's also from like New York. Um, maybe she's from Brooklyn. Um, she's an MMA fighter. She's burly. She's tough. Uh, she's always the first, you know, when they, when they drop off, like, the drop ship and they're going to take on, like, the Kree or the Chitari. She's the first one out of the drop ship or the Quinjet and she's charging at them. And then she has the Wakandan shield. Um... Yeah. I don't like this. this. All right, that's better. All right, since, yeah, because she's kind of looking a little bit over. You don't see her head and hair because of, against the white. So that looks a lot better. So this is my new figure. It's better than Captain America. Um, I would say this is, I was about to say this is Mrs. America, but I don't like Mrs. America because that, that implies that she's married. I want this, I want her to be single. Um, uh, I'm still trying to think of a name. She's buff. She's tough. She could like deadlift maybe like 300 pounds. Um, her articulation is great. The sculpting on her is beautiful. You know, this looks like Cap's costume from Endgame because, no, Infinity War is from Infinity War. This is the worst review I've done so far because <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. All I know is that this, I love the fact that this head fits on this body. It's like the perfect size ball joint and the skin tones kind of match. And it's like giving me a new character altogether. This is my new favorite figure. She's badass. Where's that friggin' Chris Evans head I dumped in here? Um... I mean, look how wonky the eyes are. I mean, this doesn't even look like Chris Evans because the paint job's so bad. This looks like my elementary school gym teacher, Mr. Hall. Okay. Now let's give her this big power glove because only she can wield it because she's like super strong. I still need a name for this. Her, um, Lauren, Lauren Rogers. That sounds very Americana. This is Lauren Rogers, Steve Rogers' cousin from Brooklyn, and she's an MMA fighter. She trains at America Top Team. Um, 
She has a 15 and 0 record. She likes to party, uh, but she also likes to train the next day. So after her after her fights, she'll be at like like you know the fights will be at like the MGM in Vegas, and then she'll be at the um, she'll be at the at the after party at Hakkasan, you know spinning spinning the records with like I don't know whatever hot DJs there like Steve Aoki. Um, Here's her cousin, Steve Rogers. And here's her other cousin, Steve Rogers. Um, this is the Steve Rogers that has the better shield from Wakanda. And she has, like, the cheap one. And here's her other cousin, Steve Rogers, um, from Avenger. I think this is from Endgame. I can't remember. And this is her time-traveling cousin, Steve Rogers. Yeah, all these are nice figures. These are Marvel Legends, so they're super articulated. Whereas, she's a basic budget figure for 9 bucks. You get what you paid for. And she has limited articulation. No waist swivel. Head on ball joint. She can kick up, but... Oh, wait, it's not stuck. For a second, I thought it was stuck. No thigh cut. No knee articulation. Nothing with the ankles. Man, she could box. She's a she's a striker. She likes to stand up and exchange punches. She has her fingerless gloves. Yeah, so this is Lauren Rogers. Uh, she's ready to beat the crap out of everybody. It doesn't this doesn't fit very well? No, oh well. Oh well. And uh, she's a budget figure. So let's take a look at other budget figures. Um, <clears throat> she's going to party with Black Widow, Budget Black Widow, and then Budget Black Widow, that's a redhead from another universe, and then Black Widow's sister, Yelena, you're going to get wild, this is going to be like Girls Gone Wild, and then Brad Pitt as Thor's is going to watch them on the dance floor, like a creep, and then they're gonna, all these girls are gonna like circle up and do that dance that girls do, and then they go to the bathroom together. Ah, uh, this is the worst one yet, isn't it? Yeah, so I like this figure a lot. Um, I like it a lot more that I changed the head. I like it a lot more because the skin tones match, and I've given, made up a new character, Lauren Rogers. Um,. She likes to do the Rocky pose when she runs up the stairs. Uh, here's budget um, Orion Iron Man. Here's budget Cap. Yeah, so I don't know. This is a cool figure. It's you know, it's a, it's a nine dollar figure. I got this in a three figure lot off of eBay. And the total I paid for all the figures combined was cheaper than buying them at retail. But this figure has been out of print for a couple of years now. Maybe four or five years. But it's like I said, the head's horrible. It's, it's terrible looking. And this, the skin tone's so pale. It's like this figure didn't see any um, sunlight for a long time. So she's deficient of vitamin D. And we have all our caps here. Let's line them up. Let's get that money shot. Let's put her in the middle. It's almost like which one of these don't belong. No, it's... no she's she's a winner, so she's gonna have her arms raised. Yeah. So this is the most pointless review yet. Um, I think I had more fun this making up a new character than reviewing the figure but you know after after a while you review so many of these captain america figures that they all start, kind of start to blur together but this is lauren rogers she's lieutenant america not a captain um so once again my name is lou i apologize in advance 
or not advanced because the video is over. I apologize if you spent 15 minutes watching this and you feel ripped off. Um, that's okay. I feel, <laughs> I feel ripped off on a daily basis. So I hope you're having a great day and come back soon. And hopefully I'll be, I don't know, in a better place. <laughs> Talk to you later.